Now, the programs that have been discussed over the last couple of days in the press are secret in the sense that they're classified, but they're not secret in the sense that when it comes to telephone calls, every member of Congress has been briefed on this program. With respect to all these programs, the relevant intelligence committees are fully briefed on these programs. These are programs that have been authorized by broad bipartisan majorities repeatedly since 2006. And so I think at the outset it's important to understand that your duly elected representatives have been consistently informed on exactly what we're doing. Does the NSA collect any type of data at all on millions or hundreds of millions of Americans? No, sir. It does not? Not wittingly. There are cases where they could inadvertently perhaps collect, but not wittingly. Senator Feinstein, I have to confess, I have a hard time squaring that answer with what we learned this week. Well, I think this is very hard. There is no more direct or honest person than Jim Clapper, and I think both Mike and I know that. You can misunderstand the question. This is one of the dilemmas of talking about it. He could have thought the question had content or something, but it is true that this is a wide collection of phone records, as Mike said. No name, no content, but the number to number, the length of time, the kind of thing that's on the telephone bill, and we have to deal with that. So I responded in what I thought was the most truthful or least untruthful manner by saying no. 